Hello, everybody. Ah! No, 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 no. Mm. Caught me, you caught me tripping. I see. Anyway, today is a new day. And a day to engage with the DQ. The D of the Qui. The Dry of the Qua. My legs really hurt. My shins. I don't know what happened. Like, I went to sleep. And then I woke up and I thought I was fine. But then I stood up and... Mm, damn. That's some stiffness. A little stiff leg. Got the old... The, uh, the old... <laughs> Maybe, maybe it's just because I am old. Anyway, I can't remember anything that happened last time, so we're just gonna skip whatever happened last time uh, on the recap. And then... Ah, we were in Gondolia. Why? I wonder. Were we in Gondolia? Book. Some some good old Lorem Ipsum right right there. Oh, yeah. That's actually a really detailed uh, model, you know? I mean, it's all right. It's, it uses a bump map and a texture, but it's got, it's got a, a physical, it's got a physical 3D bevel on that. On that top surface, which is pretty impressive. I didn't think they'd go to the trouble of doing something like that. And of course, the bump map of the wood gives it that little extra bit. No, okay, once you start game dev, you can't stop, alright? Oh, dude, look, check it out. It's, it's, uh, it's triplanar projected so that the wood grain, uh, flows through. Check, check it out. Look, 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 look. You see the, the streakies. Is it triplanar or is it just wrapped around in a funny way? Either way, it, it looks, it looks semi-legit. As we all know, the, the best way of, of, Thank you, yes. The best way of uh, creating a wood texture is just to use a bunch of computational noise nodes. Uh, at any expense. Basically, if you have wood in your game, you just you need a separate GPU just to render the woods. I mean, that's that's the, the be-all and end-all of the situation, I'm afraid. Uh, what am I doing playing the game, though? Um, I While I was away, brutally, personally accosted by... A friendly viewer who has come all the way from another country just to visit us. We. More than just me. Not just me. Other people as well. Um, they, <laughs> they... They... They resubbed at the dinner table. Crazy. I freaked out. Um, so... We gotta do the packet opening. I know I don't just keep them with me at all times. I I hope you understand. There's like two kilos of fucking booster packs. I can't just have them on me. And it's it's a moment that we can share, right? So if I just have them out in the street and someone walks up to me with their phones, just like oh, I I just sub to you, dude. I want to see a booster pack opening. How can I do a booster pack opening when I'm off when I'm offline? Hmm? How can I do a boost? Tell me. How can everybody on the channel enjoy a booster pack opening? If if I'm in the street. Huh? Explain to me. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> uh, I, I can't remember if I opened a button horizons or not. I think I did. But you know what? This is a special occasion, so if I just if I throw the camera on, so I'm not like completely debasing you. With that ignore that ignore that. You don't see that. That wasn't a feature that you saw, huh? What are you looking at, huh? Punk, huh? So we got a Kamigawa. That's the new set. And Sing's house is a special occasion, double special occasion, because I woke up late and missed out any any of the activities that we're doing today. What? I'll open a Digimon pack too. Now that's obviously going to be the most disappointing bit of, of the thing, so we'll do that first. So, um, I don't know if you play the Digimon, di the Digimon the card game. These, these packs, these packs are made in Japan, I believe. 
Manufacturer Bandai Co Limited, Komagata, Taito, Tokyo, Japan. Where's the made in though? That doesn't tell. That just tells me who makes it. That doesn't tell me where it's made. In. Yep, made in Japan, right there. Um, which is crazy to me. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are printed in Belgium. Magic the Gathering cards, I believe, are printed in Belgium. A big old publishing dude in Belgium, apparently, that does a load of shit. Uh, da -da. Continue. Uh. Says cards on Anglais. Importé au Canada par Wizards of the Coast LLC. Wait, what? Importé au Canada? Fuck out of here with this. Importé au Canada. Magic the Gathering, Magic the Gathering, Magic the Gathering. It doesn't say. It does not. It does not say. I think it says on the inside, maybe. Neon ink foil card in less than one percent of all boosters. Uh, anyway, uh, Japan has. Japan is one of the, one of the, the the numerous countries which have strict knife laws, like the UK and Germany. Uh, but they're one of the few countries out of that selection. Who have actually accommodated for the strict knife laws by having easy open, human human usable packaging, and I say that, and I'm I'm gonna total this entire booster pack by doing this, aren't I? Yeah, no, this is this is a bad one. This is this is this is a no go. There was one which had a little strip down the back, which was you know you did that and then it unfolded like a binder. This is not one of those. What a nightmare! Who thought this was a good idea? I'll use the old zipper. Zoop. So, I don't know if any of you actually play the the Digimon the Digimon the trading card game. I don't. <laughs> it's been a like a wild a, like a fascination for a very long time, but I'm already seeing some pog cards. That's a, that's a Ikakumon. I almost called it a Tsunomon, but that's the next one up. Um, the, the Digimon the trading card game was never popular, um, when I was a child. Like, it was, it was there. Wow, this, this watch don't quit, huh? I left it, I did the timer thing last night at, like, 11pm to see how long I can hold my breath. It's not long, by the way, if, if anyone wanted to, like, drown me, that's, that's the way. I mean, I'm pretty much screwed. Anyway. Um, but the time it was still on the, uh, on the thing. Um, but yeah, the Digimon the trading card game was never a big thing as a child. But it was always on promotions. Stuff like, uh, uh, cereal boxes. You could have, like, a mini booster pack and, like, some, some Cheerios or some shit. I, I would persist on getting these things as a child. Because they had these, these cheesy booster packs. I probably still have those cards somewhere. But I never played the game, and... And I wonder why. Oh, fucking Wizardmon, bro! Fucking Metal Mammoth. Whoa. What was that noise? I don't know, but it was a big old slam. We got Metal Mammoth. Gomomon. Fucking Gerudomon. Salamon. Gadromon. Lilymon. Metal Etamon. Fucking legend. This, this was the source of great enjoyment as a child. Metal Atomon was like the, he was like the front man of the goddamn Digimon show. So good. A freaking Agumon. In, in, I don't want to look at this anymore. Infermon? It's shiny though. It's very shiny. And a Hercules Kabuterimon. Hercules Kabuterimon might be the largest Digimon. Uh... Tied maybe with my Otismon. He was pretty big. Omnimon, obviously, because it's a giant fucking mech. Very nice card. Very cool. But yeah, I, I should probably learn how to play the Digimon card game. Because it looks cool. The art's nice. The cards are, are pretty are pretty cool. I, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's, it's just a card game at the end of the day. But, it's, you know, as card games go, it's got, it's got an aesthetic. And I enjoyed the Digimon cartoon growing up. So, it, it'd be a nice second outlet for my money. 
You know what I'm saying? Anyway. We got a Magic the Gathering. Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Collect a booster pack. You ready? This is this is the one where I where I unbox three Neon Ink. Oda Nobunaga card. What whatever the dude is. I can't remember what the dude is called. I, I, I sadly looked up the prices of some of the cards in this set. And some of the cards are expensive. The uh the 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 thing that I unboxed with the weird funny writing, it's it's medium. You know, it's not the most expensive card in the set to buy on the black market, but uh, it's also not the cheapest by any stretch of the imagination. Good lord, even even like the low ballers were like ninety-two pounds for a single card. For a single card, secondly. Not even written, not even printed in English, which I think is ridiculous. But, you know, it's a collector thing. Collectors do be collectors. Did I tell you that all the all the old cards that I had? Well not all of them, but uh, a vast majority of the of the old white border cards that I have that I thought were real crusty could have been alpha or beta cards. They were third edition, did I say that? And third third edition is like collectible, but not really collectible. Thundersteel Colossus. I think I have one of these already. It's pretty good though, right? It's um Trample Haste and Crew 2. You so you only need Creatures of power two or more to crew it, but then it becomes a seven-seven colorless uh, artifact monster with trample. Why is my why is my killer bits down? Why is my killer bits down? Oh no! Kami of restless shadows. Do I have this already? I think I do, but I don't remember seeing it. Norika Yamazaki, the poet, of course. I've got, I've got one of those already. Awesome prancer. The long reach of night. <gasps> but it's a shiny one. Yo, I got a shiny Animus of Night's Reach. Yo, because this is a really cool card. Like, it has a good effect. It does have a good effect, doesn't it? Uh, Menace, yeah. And when Animus of the Night attacks, it gets plus X plus zero to the end. Turn X is the number of creatures, cards, in the defending player's graveyard. Hell yeah, that's badass. Um, and that's plus, so it, it has attack and defense already. We got a shiny planes, which I have never used and will never use. We got Guardians of Oboro. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing shit camera work here. We got a Sunblade Samurai, holographic. We got another Tov Co Covert Technician. Technician, not shiny this time. It's really hard sometimes to see the artwork when the cards are shiny, especially Magic: The Gathering. They tend to do this low effort Paul foil card. Ink Cries Infiltrator. Flying Ink Cries Infiltrator gets plus two, plus two to the end of the turn. Okay. I for four mana that I could probably do that flat with like an artifact equip. Explosive singularity. That's that's pretty cool. That is a mythic rather. Uh, additional customs from you may tap any number of untapped creatures you control. Spell cast one last for each creature tap this way. Explosive singularity deals ten damage to any target. Damn. That would be a great card to put with um omniscience, I guess. Myojin of Towering Might. That's pretty cool. It's not a double sider. Restoration of Iganjo. La -da. Vigilance. Whenever Architect of Restoration attacks a box, create a plus one, uh, one, one color spirit creature token. That's pretty cool. We got a special land. Uh, abandoned Mire. Tap add a smelly swamp. Channel three. Discard Takanuma. Abandon Mire. Mill three cards and then return a creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. This ability costs one less to activate for each legendary creature you control. Okay. So that's that's that might be useful for these these mill and restore kind of style decks. Like um, Dracula, I think, has got some good stuff. Uh, Brilliant Restoration. Return all artifact and enchantment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, do I have a non shiny version of this? Because it that's a powerful card. It's it costs a lot of mana. But it's a powerful, powerful card. And we got a token pilot. This crew creatures vehicles as though its power were too greater. Oh wow. And a samurai token. Of course. The samurai token. Anyway. Thank you again, Zach Present, for the 10 month resub. It does mean a lot to me, and I will s potentially see you later in the week. Anyway, on with the gameplay. Um, a fun time. A fun time to be had by all. 
And also, I saw on Twitter that people are experiencing lower viewership because it's spring-summer time, and apparently people are enjoying the outdoor weather. Well, uh, consider streaming at odd hours of the night and luring your Australian, New Zealand, South African audiences, maybe. Because for them it's winter. Uh, catalog me. Devro! Didn't you finish that already? Devro? I wish. <laughs> I killed a sub-boss of sub-bosses, third form, so that I could complete a quest to kill the final, the quote-unquote final boss of the game. So we have quests to do. We have no quests to take, except for this one, but which you're not going to take. Measure mankind. We need unbridled blade and a certain other ability in order to pull off this particular maneuver. Um. Sixteen, sixteen level up points to unlock unbridled blade. I'm afraid. So that we're never gonna finish that quest. I don't think. Unless I get to the final boss end and it just trashes me. Sorry, uh, quest catalog. Uh, rebirth, rebuffed. Uh, he was left to search for the liar. I find him from this place. One crazy cat. You've been asked by Tom to find something to calm down and go see cat. Apparently, someone called Bianca has got something to do with it, and we've got to get some new skin strings for the tall band of truth. Pillar dedicated to the holiest of horses. You might be able to get a hold of the golden mane that you need there. I thought that was going to be in uh, thingamajigmajiggy. Uh, she told you he was heading for Wheelbrook. Upon learning that she wasn't the one he'd been looking for. I think I can get to Wheelbrook, can I? I think I can. I think it's one of the things on the things that I can actually access directly right now. Hi Devro, by the way, how are you doing? Wheelbrook isn't a mana Wheelbrook mana. I think I can do that. I feel like it's on the left here. No, Canic Castle, Monaghan. Doing foo good. Fixed all the stuff in your project now. You reached the break point, and all you do now are the new features. Baromotion Castle. So rework is done basically. Oh. Devro has been refactoring. I know the pain of refactoring. And while I, I, I don't want to do any refactoring ever, um, <laughs> it, stri it strikes me, it strikes me that I will have to. <laughs> have you seen, have you seen what I was doing last time I was doing the thing? Did you see Devro? I, I feel like I know the name Wheelbrook. I don't know why. But we definitely can't go there. Um, you look in all my game dev streams. Oh, thank you. I try my hardest to look in other people's game dev streams, but usually I just fall asleep. Uh, <laughs> but you've seen how convolute. You love my fight system. I like how there was no kappa at the end of that. There should really have been a kappa at the end of that, really. And there's a warp pad here. That makes me worry. And there's a skeleton. No, no, no. When the hero of Alihan toppled the evil Baramos, we could have ne we could have been forgiven for thinking we had seen the last of the monsters who terrorized our land. But no such luck, I'm afraid. No, there are sinister things afoot. If you're inclined to help us, we should learn more. I recommend you speak to his majesty just over there. You think it's the perfect mix of old school RPG and old school tactical RPG? But it's like, it doesn't get bogged down with like long, long form. Like, you don't have to like stride across a huge map like in Fire Emblem to actually like kill someone. You just, you just, you just, because a lot of the, a lot of the stuff is Magitek or forgot, lost, forgotten 
now modern tech in the future after a post-apocalyptic anyway yeah thank you thank you Devro. but like beyond the concept of the combat what do you think of the actual implementation because <laughs> i <laughs> have you ever seen a, a garbage can with a fire in it i think that's that's a, a fairly well sums it up I, th I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm leaning towards moving a lot of the uh, selection code to the combat handler, rather than keeping it like in the player and the menu and the enemy and the combat handler. I think if I move all of the decision making to the combat handler, that combat handler can probably just handle combat. You hope I finish at some point so you can steal it and make it a weird West type game with it. Oh, you want me to like? You want me to like put it on the asset store as like a? weirdo RPG framework template game? Maybe. Eee! Things do not look good. Wait, what do we have here? Karamba, a mighty warrior. Aye, you look like you know the one end of a sword from the other. I think I think most people know one end of the sword from the other. It's quite pointy, sharp, hard to grab. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me explain a little about this place. This was once the seat of power and the king of the Necrogond. That doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound like a good thing. Before the Archfiend, Baramos came and claimed it as his own. Okay. Oh, I can see a cool skull at the top there. Happily, a great hero fetched forth from a place called Alihan, Aliahan, and smote the beast. Peace restored to a world we came all over to honor those who fell at Baramos's hand. No, sell it exclusively to me. <laughs> Aye, but things are really so simple. To our horror, when we arrived here, we found countless reanimated cadavers prowling the corridors of the castle in the quest to revive their fallen master. If they succeed, the incredible achievement of the hero Top of Baramos would be in for naught. No, we cannot allow this to happen, no. We will need your help, stranger, what you say. This was not a quest that said I could take it the quest taker. Obrigado, my appraisal of you was not mistaken. Now venture into the castle where you will doubtless <coughs> Doubtlessly find kings from other realms in their courageous spin doing battle with the undead one. <laughs> I warrant they will be able to tell you more about who. Why do heroes always go into dungeons to kill reanimated corpses? Maybe they live there. Maybe the necromancer just wants to clean up the place. Yeah, exactly. Resurrect the fallen fiend. Por favor, find them and put an end to their monstrous machinations. You've been asked by the King of Portugal to help him prevent the resurrection of Baramo. Baramo? Baramos. Baramo? Baramos. Baramo? Baramos. Baramo? Baramos. Ah! Ooh. It's a bop. Thunder thrust. <laughs> Miss, lovely. No experience? Bro, they could attack twice a turn. We got no experience. Cuts me to the bone. I want to talk to that skeleton over there, though. Because he's walking around on the overmap. Surely he's friendly. Yeah, it's Ghost Voice. Rattles around my skull and I cannot ignore it. First spooked me as I lay in my grave. Rise, people of the Necrogon. It said, Give me my life once more and I vow to grant you eternal bliss. Shame. Real nice tile work in this dungeon area. Like some of the other dungeons in the 2D mode look like ass. I mean, I mean they don't look like ass. I mean they don't look great. But 
for this. This is almost like it was in a game already. They didn't have to do any work to clean it up or reimagine it. What did I do with my life? What did I achieve? Nothing. I have no regrets. My life was a mere prelude to this. Yes, when we serve the mighty Baramos, then we shall do as we please. Now I must nearly bite my time and amuse myself by tearing the limb from limb. No! Nice. Oh no. what I thought. Forgive me, I should not have attacked you, but I was not in control of my actions. I lied. I was proud to have been born in the Necrogond. I achieved much with the life I was given. I knew joy, true fulfillment. At least now you know the truth. I don't get why these fights have to be so raw. And we don't get any XP. Like, we could get XP for these. I feel like that would be nice. Grubby bandage. <gasps> Kazarola! Please do not sneak up on me like that. I was certain you were a monster. Forgive me, I'm a little on edge. If I had known things were going to end up like this, I would have insisted on the hero keeping my crown when he first gave to Ali a hand. There is no response. It is just a corpse. Oh, weaker party members earn 30, 3,897 experience points. Nice. Who's that? Serena? Just Serena? Liquid Metal Slime. Blight the Living Dead really does do a lot of damage to the undead. <laughs> I 
Do I actually have a schedule for game dev? What do you mean, uh, schedule? Like when I when I do the game dev or when my game is meant to release? Yes. I do game dev. I do the game dev on Mondays and Tuesdays. So it's all, all my whole stream on Monday and the first half of the stream on Tuesday. The Sunday stream is a day off, uh, a relaxing game play stream, and the evening on Tuesday is a small a small respite before I have to do a week of work. Actual work. And not for personal gain. Not even really for professional game. I need a new job, man. I mean, uh, what? At first, all I had were questions. Then, why did I return? What am I here to do? But then I heard his voice, and everything became clear. We must restore our master, Barabos. That is what we are here to do. Ah, you're not gonna fight me about that? Okay. But yeah, Mondays, the whole stream. I, I aim to start at around about 12 on the Monday. But uh, sometimes I start later, sometimes I start earlier. Rarely I start earlier. But you know, it could happen, right? Just don't, don't at me about that, right? I like sleeping. At first I tried to resist it, but it was futile. Now I know that I was wrong. If only I obey the voice in my head, I can be free. I can truly live again. Sleep is for the weak. To be fair, I thought I slept ages today, but I <laughs> I counted it in, in my head. And I actually, I didn't actually sleep that much. Uh, it was, um an optical illusion because I just went to bed so late. It was only eight hours of sleep. I'll let you do the mathematics on that one. I love sleeping. It's unlike a regular workday, I'll only get five and a half hours of sleep and I feel terrible. Yeah, I mean, I had a brief stage of my life where I could sleep four hours and be quote-unquote fine, but... You've got to be mentally engaged with everything. You've got to be pepped up. And I am not pepped up. I'm pepped down, if anything. Soon it will begin. I can feel it in my bones. The rite of resurrection. And none can stop it. There's a lot down there with two gods. Nice. You can grab some food, see you around. Okay, Devro, enjoy your food. Whatever you have in sandwich, halloumi fries, big old burgy burg, avocado spread, egg on toast, steak. The people of the Necrogond are once guarded the pit of Giaga. We wish to protect the world to prevent calamity. Now I see how futile it was. Peace means nothing. Protecting others is for fools. All that matters is power, and serving Baramos will give us power without end. Get up, me wee. Oh. 
That was a waste of my time, yes. Wow. Is that a, a light wall? A laser fence? Plasma? King of Minoza, Poké. Why? How could this happen? A brave young soldier who traveled with me from Minoza fell into the hands of the enemy and was taken away. Eee! Just thinking about his fate is too painful. Just when everything was going so well, we had our victim, the sacrifices at hand, and then you had to come along. Well, I'm afraid I cannot let you disrupt, disrupt the sacred rite. To arms! To arms! Wait, does that mean that Serena is the party pooper? Is Serena here to poop that party? Finally, I am free. I was a mere puppet. I tried to resist, but my body was not my own. Thank you for freeing me, stranger. Thank you. Right, sir. Yeah, no, no, I am you. I'm free. Free from all fear. Free from all pain. Come on, let me sit free. You can be like me. Got one rounded. Double nice. Thank you. The voice in my head is gone. My mind is my own once more. Now I am truly free. Obrigado, thank you for saving me, but I still fear for my life. That brave young soldier was carried away by these cruel and dead fiends. Ah! Ooh! I'm convinced that someone in this castle there is a monstrous mastermind pulling the strings and controlling hordes of undead. If this sinister manipulator were to be defeated, the unquiet souls who command shall be released from his thrall, and in danger of Baron must be arrived and be ended. It's most curious, but I'm convinced that someone of those undead creatures is weeping. Perhaps they are not truly evil, perhaps they are merely pawns in a higher powers game. Truly, that is not a fate I would wish on anyone. As far as I can tell, the undead are in fact the people of the Necrogon. It seems that the king and his unfortunate subjects have been resurrected. It's truly a tragic irony that those who fell victim to the archer in the Baramors should be forced to try and revive him. Okay, I, got, I gotta... I gotta go back! That's not a button. Wait, I know that room.
How many mimics? <gasps> no mimics! Poggers! Oh yeah, this is this is ominous, all right. There's our lad. Hey, friend. Nice. Ah, oh, the voice cannot give in to it. I cannot let it win. Now there is something more powerful than a voice. Something I cannot ignore. I speak of my people's pain, their anguish at being treated as mere puppets. The vile creature who calls himself the Necrogondolia must be defeated. Only when he joins his master in oblivion can my people truly rest in peace. Ah! Oh. Let's get him then. Uh, truly a terrifying sight. A gang of putrid corpses seized the young soldier and carried him down the stairs to the centre of the pond. Gave chase, but a powerful evil seemed to hang in the air, growing greater with every step. I took it, chilled my blood, and I am ashamed to say that I, my nerve failed and I turned back. Well met, stranger. I'm the king of Edina. But fear not, I have the common touch. That means I can make conversation with everyone from foreign dignitaries to the lowliest pumpkin such as yourself. Now, this is rather embarrassing to admit, but after managing to make it all the way to within a hair's breadth of the bad hat who's behind all this, I'm afraid I find myself rather too frightened to continue. I... We'll do the hero thing. Oh, Jesus. Nice embers, bro. You good, fam? There's no response. The guard is unconscious. You can just walk past him, though. Necrogon Leia. See how the fallen of the Necrogon obey my every word. Yes, they have served me well. But little do they know that their reward will be an unimaginable suffering. Yes, their torment is only beginning. The time of his return is at hand. Fed by the flesh of the living and the despair of the wake and dead, my lord and master Baron must arise once more. Wait, what is this? Since there's certain hostility emanating from you, do you seriously mean to try and stop me? Ah ha ha, this is most amusing turn of events. Seems I shall have even more mortal flesh to offer up to my master. Uh, we are going to pay attention and we're going to do everything completely good. Oomph for Jade. Magic Barrier? Wait, you fell over? Lamau. Wait, you can't you can't do uh frizzage, sorry. Uh spells. Shame, truly. Jade just died. Okay. Thank you. 
Ah, uh, multi here. Where's Kazing? <laughs> Again. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Get destroyed. Each party member obtains 15,000 experience points except for Jade, who's dead. Who, who, who are you? How did you manage to defeat me? What? What about my dreams? My beautiful dreams? Please, master, take me. All for myself unto you that you might live again. Please, master. He successfully disrupted the ceremony to resurrect the archfiend Baramos and report back to the king of Portoga near the castle entrance. Uh, ah, what a blessed relief! Since the evil had dispersed, and shorn up the fiend who's orchestrating this, this was still more. You defeated him, did you? Well, bravo! You would have thought a hungry bumpkin such as yourself would have it in you. We'll fight you, my friend. We'll fight you. Was a blessed relief, truly. I feared for the life of that young soldier, but it seems you came here to the rescue. Thank you so much. Huh? Was that you say? It was all set to be used as a sacrifice, and now the undead fiends have overrun the castle are all gone? Wait! That means the battle's over, right? I was out cold the whole time. Ugh! So embarrassing. What am I going to tell my superior officer? Sleeping on the job. Ugh! In fact, we can just, um... We can just do that. Ah, yee! You have returned, and it seems you have had some success. The walking dead are no more, and the stench of evil has faded. You could do it. You could defeat whatever evil is plotting resurrection, that fiend Baramos. Brigado. Now take this, por favor. Truly, you've earned it. A Dracolite. But wait, there's more! I found a mysterious word carved into the wall of the castle. I do not pretend to know what it means, but it may prove useful to you. Baramos's castle has been added to the list of locations you can travel to from the Altar of Salvation. <gasps> a second Baramos's tower. You save us all, Baramos will not return, and the fallen of the Necrogon can rest in peace again. We will pay our respects to them for the sacrifice they have made, and then we will return to our respective kingdoms. Now that we will never forget, now know that we will never forget what you have done for us. Bringing back the big bad. Well, I think that worked out pretty well.
117 hours. Oh, 170. That doesn't count redos. That doesn't count TPKs. Oh, that's just the canonic this playthrough time. Oh. There was a man in front of Baramos's castle again who seems to be in need of assistance. Let me try to talk to him. Wheel Brook. Wheel Brook. <laughs> Later on, <laughs> not even like at night time. Just the same. Just five minutes after, really. You know, you, you went there, you did something, and then ah, oh, shit got fucked up. Like it, it's the same guy. Are you kidding me? I leave for five minutes, and there's demons everywhere. Ah, it's you. Not a moment too soon. I was just going to send one of my men to search for you. Uh, please brace yourself for bad news. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but the Archfiend Baramos has returned. Uh, I don't I don't understand it either. You slew the evil mastermind behind the monster spot to revive the Lord of Evil who called and called himself the Necrogon So how that his plan succeeded regardless? Well, uh, I already did it. Uh, we have no choice but to fight. Uh, we must have the forces from all corners of the land, but it will not be easy. Baramos has summoned legions of savage beasts to defend him. I beseech you, mighty warrior, come to our aid once more. Call for Take up arms. Banish the Archfiend from this world forever. Golden Claws. Uh, defeat the Archfiend or stop peace from the Ali Ali The future realm in your hands. Uh, go to the room where Baramos' minions are trying to resurrect him and show him who's boss. Can I just uh, walk there up the side of the map? I'm trying to remember how to get there now. Up. Oh. Around the side of the building, like this, and then in that door, there's some mages. Oh, they don't notice this great. Ah, oh, sticking around. Think I'm gonna fight. Useless zero XP enemies. Had a friend. Whee! I will no longer ask my men to put themselves in harm's way in my stead. No, I will take on these foul monsters myself. Have it, you fiend. Hey, what well, lad? Taking big responsibilities. Uh. Are they going to be more treasures in the treasure room? Or is it the same treasures? It's the same treasures we've already taken. Great. Let's go down. Oh, let's talk to that lad. He's, he seems to be in a predicament. Casarola! I was trying to flee, but now I find myself frozen with fear. If I had known that things would end up like this, I would have insisted in the hero keeping my crown when he first came down. <laughs> <laughs> That's his catchphrase. <laughs> nice. No, not no, not no. Level up, cheeky. Nine skill points. I didn't mean to say yes.
Ah, can't believe I managed to get lost. I must rejoin my liege. Oh, down here. And down here. Ah! Poopy. <laughs> you hit the Manticore as well. That's the one, my friends. That is the one. Here we handy heal all. Oh, can we talk to the king again? No response, just a corpse. Aw, oh, rip. Rip in peace, King Lad. Burr, it chills my blood to recall it, but I witnessed the return of the Archfiend called Beramos. As he appeared, I swear I could hear an awful gloating laughter. There was something familiar about it, and then it struck me. It belonged to the cruel fiend who orchestrated the ceremony, the very one that you defeated. Well met, brave warrior. No sooner had you departed than a terrifying black cloud appeared over the throne. When it cleared, revealed none than the art fiend Baromus. Huh. You, you didn't think, uh... Thanks, Eric. I... Thanks, Eric. I'm the king of Aliahan. Realms once home to be a great hero in the hero's father, Ortega. In light of mighty deeds, I vow that I will not leave this place until Baromus is defeated. Good. Because we're about to defeat him. Oh god. You interrupted the right of resurrection by underling the necrogon to the hero was cast into the deepest despair. And it was that despair that fed me and nourished me that allowed me to return. And now the hero of Aliyahan is the war in the world spite for the taking. There is none who could stand in my way. Would you have a line here straight on me to face me? Who of course that still is meant to bar Mrs. Throwaway Ripe? I recognize this lad. Doesn't he run a casino? He looks like he does physical damage. He does magical damage. What in the frick? We got uh, totaled, as they say.
I'm going back to Galopolis. I feel like I've missed this pillar sacred to all horses. Also, I found it unfortunately not proven useful to use the Sith Power Spirit to learn to recite it. You beat even the hardest metal to change. Sounds rather ideal for intrepid adventures with yourself. Nope. Leaving you, leaving you to defeat the evil and discuss all the shadows. Come up with home still so since you're across minute doesn't blow me back. My husband told me that you are Manadono, Prince of Dundrasil, and you're on a quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows. It's truly admirable, but truly heroic. Your credit to your mother, Lady Eleanor, would be proud. Still remember her smile as she held you in your arms. Grown a great deal since then. Remember no matter how difficult things become, do not waver from your course. All Adria is belief you myself. Welcome back. Chalasmus is not a word with which I'm familiar, and I take pride in the depth and breadth of my knowledge. It is a word from ancient times, perhaps, or a form of incantation? Even without knowing its meaning, it's possible to detect a certain significance in its sound. What? Bro! Did you see it? You see that massive star smashing the bits? It was bleeding amazing. And the best seats in Galopolis, all right. And the assault was beckoning. I ain't got no regrets, but barging in uninvited. It was a once in a lifetime experience. This man barged into the castle uninvited, though I doubt he will remain here very long and the star is no more. He seems absolutely delighted to have been able to witness its destruction. It was a strange reaction, but I thought most people felt perhaps a certain thrill of excitement. Most they only felt fear. There are many different types of people in the world, I suppose. You guys having a rough day at work, huh? Now that further land has receded, I'm assuming the ancient castle's tomes for further insights. After all, no star has been known to fall from the sky before, let alone to shatter into a thousand pieces mere moments before landing. There must be some significance in what occurred, and I've made it my mission to discover just what that significance might be. Dundrastayed Secrets of the Flame. Not ready to read it yet, huh? Huh. Read those already, I think. What a joy, the cats have returned. Thank you. 
<laughs> I've been in here as well. Let's just be distracting so long as they shall hell. Same for you, Mr. Tofu Fit. I my life much to see were it not for shot wits surely have perished out there in the desert. This customer witnessing his talents on the racetrack to see him come to my aid in battle. That was a thing indeed. Ah. Oh, the robot monsters, many of my beloved horses have been killed as a result, but I will not become downhearted. We desert knights have a duty to defend, defeat the beast, threaten us, and restore peace to the kingdom. We must avenge our fallen steeds. Bright light, burst light was destroyed. Never get that sight, never. Okay. My husband left the scene, so it means to deal with the lantern, but at last he has returned. So worried about him, but I forget now that I must take pride in the manner in which he has served his king. Lovely. <laughs> Maybe slow and less checkpoint now the threat of the land looms no longer. We've returned home to the city. Yeah, sounds good home. I saw so many Muslims in the region feel the worst at times. Hmm. 
Oh, what about that? That's a pillar. It's outside Galopolis. Bring me the whale. Ah. Oh. I cannot believe they actually pursued. Gold. Nice. Earring for every element. Cinder block earrings, all weather earrings, blackout earrings. If all weather. Ice and wind, fire and earth, light and lightning.
How many glass frits? Yo. It's a lot of frit, yo. Let's go. Let's go. Huh. Wait, there's one of those seedlings here? Galapolis way station? Huh? Brighton Rock? Sainted Simon.
He had food. Devros had food, everybody. Everybody. Don't panic. Devros had the food. No! Everybody claps. Yep. Technicolor dream cloth. What? Mutanani. What did you have, Devro? Did you have a uh, tricolore on um, freshly baked? Um, focaccia. Did you have grilled chicken and mayo sandwich with lettuce garnish? Did you have steak, egg, chips, and beans? Did you have cheese and onion pasty? and a dessert of yum-yums and cheap filter coffee. It's called Viking Pot Meatballs in a Cream Sauce with Carrots and Peas. Okay. So it's fairly, just a fairly standard, just a fairly standard thing then. It's a lot of red light. I made burgers yesterday with ribs. You wanted something light. You had a cream sauce. You wanted something... No, no. <laughs> Devro. You wanted something light and you made a cream sauce. Now I think our definitions of the word light are different. Oh. Did it have horseradish in it? Maybe a little or sprinkling a chili flake. Maybe. Don't donut. Like I'm not I'm not here to rock your rock your world. Old little drag drag your boys. You are in my way. Apparently you're not in my way. Chili ass horseradish, holy shit, that's worth a try. Well, you know, it's like a little little bit of a wasabi-esque flavor. Y'all know your boy loves wasabi. It's a foot spa. It really annoys me. Cream is lighter than ribs. Ribs don't float on cream. It is a fair. It's a fair point. It's a fair point. Um, but you are you are missing, of course, one key factor. That while ribs may be uh, heavier heavier than cream they could they could float on cream if you prepared them correctly uh, due to buoyancy uh, mechanical property of containing a less dense fluid within a shell a cask and using a hull to maintain the the balance perpendicular to the 
plane of, of flu. Anyway, um, well, I didn't I didn't take engineering at school. Um, you'd have to tell me how that works. Yeah, no, it's, it sounds nice. I found a really cool. I say I found it was. It's a really, really weird, bizarre thing happened. I was in a. I was in a village. I was in a town, a city. I was in a place, uh, and I was, I was meant to be the tour guide, but I actually have very, very rarely gone to the the place that we were in, especially at nighttime. Uh, and I was, I kn I knew of one place because I walked past it. It's right next to the train station. We we'll passed it a lot, and it, yeah, there were tables free. And I was like, "Well, guys, do you want to do you want to go here? They do tapas. They've got like little curry things on the side." You know, all the all that good stuff. Time waits for no man, but we have a plan. It may require a caravan. Historically, you should not answer any question on buoyancy. Okay. <laughs> we'll ask John. He knows everything about buoyancy. He knows everything about uh, buoyancy nodes in water planes. <laughs> Fuck. God damn. Anyway. Um, and um, the, the, the people I was with... Uh, they were humming and hawing. They were like, eh, mm, I mean, yeah, it's the first place that we've seen, but I mean, it looks nice, and you know, we could have something on the menu. And this, 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 um, this very nice lady walks up behind us, and she says, "Maybe I can help you. I've lived in this town all my life. I know what's fucking good." And we were like, "Yeah, yeah, 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 yeah! Tell us, tell us, tell us! Please, please save me from this nightmare of having to show people around places I've never actually been to myself." And she was like. We go up the road, there's a place that does burgers, and right next to it is an amazing bar. And, uh, <laughs> we went up the road, and there it was. It was a place that did burgers, and they had one table, free for one hour, and we managed to swipe it. And the burger, let me tell I didn't eat all three burgers, because I'm not, I'm not down to steal other people's food, but I ate my burger, and oh my god, heavenly. Best burger I've ever had. Made by me, made by a friend, made made in a restaurant, made by a Michelin star chef. I don't care. That that burger that I had the other day, immense. And I had halloumi fries on the side. It was extra good. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my story. I don't know if I had a punchline to that or not. I don't think there was a punchline. It was just the fact that some random stranger helped us out. Thank you, random stranger, by the way. I don't know your name. I obviously know where you live, because you told us that you lived there for your whole... Anyway, not specifically, but in general. Uh, but thank you. It was it was great. Fantastic burger. We did not check out the bar. Uh, for reasons that I will not go into. Tickety tick tock. Well, if it isn't the luminary. I was just indulging in a spot of singing. It helps lift the spirits, don't you know? Allow me to pass on the password I found. <laughs> I can have visit Quester's Rest. Talking to Tick, you use the password I can give to visit another world in the echo chamber of Techington. There are more talkers that are well away they are, such as passwords, you know. Be sure to take a moment to talk to me if you come across any. Have this amazing burger place in the city. He took a US co-worker then. He was like, that was the best burger I've had. Yes. It's the people I was showing around were from the US. And one of them at least was was in in fine fettle and managed to eat his whole burger and said it was the it was it was an amazing burger. I, I don't remember him saying it was the best burger he'd ever had, but he did he did show extreme extreme happiness in completing his burger. With that I'm clocking off to trundling back to Tickington. It was lovely meeting you. Good luck with the rest of your adventure TikTok. And so uh, I I count that as a win. They had um, chicken burger. They had um, regular burger. They had regular burger with avocado. They had regular burger with um, uh, bar barbecue, barbacoa. Uh, they had. Did I say they had veggie burger? No veggie burger. They had um, huge burger as well. Huge burger it was. Um, Watch out for these boys.
3000 XP, a level up. Oh, yeah, that. That happened. Why are there so many toggles here? What's going on? Mysterious energy emanates from the ceiling. It feels similar to the energy given off by Ingersoll's roots, but nothing happens when you touch it. What? Don't give me that. Oh, it's asleep. Oh. Okay, that's not something we can we can engage with, apparently. Oh, it was that, right. Oh, ooh. Had this little Asian takeout place, didn't manage to overcome COVID lockdown, and for fun you ordered a burger there. He was expecting a cheap frozen patty and a bun with a leaf on it, but holy hell it was made with care and all sauces was homemade. Amazingly good. Damn. Shame it didn't survive COVID though. I mean I'm sure the chef survived COVID, maybe. I'm sure, you know, it's just it's just the businessman. You can find him. You can track him down. You can, I know, you use your programmer instincts and you'll find that, that lad. Make him, just make it custom. Just get him, come over to your house, provide him with some utensils, maybe. Hopefully you can hunt him down. <laughs> That's a shame. A couple of places near me didn't didn't get through the COVID. Uh, but at the same time, I hadn't been out to eat in a long time. Like even before COVID, it was like timing and money. You know how it goes. What is it with RPGs and music musical fast travel? Uh dunno. Dunno. Land here? No. Cetacea. Luminaries landing. Still more here where you buy tobacco is like 20 stars and that's like two tobacco store and a bookstore. Damn son. I've landed in the wrong place. Didn't I have a quest to go up to the archives in Sniffleheim? I'm gonna land here, what the hell? Are you telling me, like, I can land here and it just doesn't give me a description? It's just... On the floor, mate. Just land on the floor. The lost land. Ah, I fucking knew it. Hidden area. Secret bosses. No music. I'm freaking out. No enemies? No music? No music, no enemies? There's tacos all over it. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, 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 ah. They knew all along. Hey, buddy. So, oh, well, none of the rest of the party can see this, can they? It's only the luminary. Concrete exists in this universe. Yep. Check it out. There's a whole town made of concrete. Uh, like not just a magical town that can only be seen by the luminary. Can can I just walk up the side? Yeah, uh, Octagonia. 
Not just concrete, but like there's slot machines that run off like electricity or something. So, uh, you tell me. Good godly gear. It takes a look inside and learns how to make sacrosanct staves, Venus tears. Sure, I'll I'll give it a punt. Level up. Take a level up as well. Her face is flame. You've learned her face is flame. She has a special forging move known as Master Stroke. Every now and again, when you're having a way, you'll have a flash of inspiration which will allow you to let loose this most incredible abilities, but only once before forging session. After you use it, you will get a message telling me you prime for greatness. Soon, bash or flourish will send the gauges soaring, but and stop them as soon as they reach the sweet spot. But be careful, it only lasts one turn, so if you waste it on increasing the temperature or something else that doesn't involve striking, you only have yourself to blame. Ha! Brilliant blue stone that provides protection from wind and lightning attacks. Meh. Meh. There's probably a key under the doormat. Right, 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 of course. There isn't a doormat, Deborah. I mean, there is a key under the doormat, but the doormat isn't here. Oh, fuck. What was that? No, you need to find the doormat. <laughs> I was watching a real cringe comedy TV show about this guy. And, um... Fuck, he's trying to get into someone's house. And they're like... They won't... They, they're, they're not opening the door for him from the inside of the house. Whether they're outside that are they just leaving or something? I can't remember. I can't remember the, the, the context, but she says to him, Oh, there's a key under the under the flower pot. As if he knows which flower pot it is. And so he starts picking up the flower pots and smashing them when he doesn't find a key underneath. And then she says, No, it's it's under the fourth one and he smashes every single flower pot and then opens the door. I I laughed very hard at that, and then at nothing else in the actual show. I'll be honest, I'm not a massive fan of Mr. Gervais. I don't find him... I don't find him overtly funny, like many other comedians. Do you have a favorite comedian, Devro? Are there comedians in Germany? A genuine question. I only know of one German-speaking comedian, but he lives, I believe, in London. He doesn't live in Germany. To my understanding, he might not even be German. I might be making this up. I'm a man of, of limited expertise, okay. A friend of yours has a fake rock to put his key under. How'd you know? Because it was the only grey one around his house. <laughs> Imagine if you put your key, like, in a fake rock, or, like, in a plant pot or something, and someone stole it. Like, they didn't even know it had your key in it, your spare key, and they just took the fake rock. They were like, ooh, shiny. Look at these deer. Hey. Hey, buddy.
album of imperial attire. Empress attire, empress's robes. Did we not already be able to make those? They're not even good. Protection from elemental attacks. I guess maybe once it's plus threed. We can only we can only hope. Wow. Mm. You have comedians, but most of them are shit. You have some comedians you like Bill Burr, Jimmy Carr, Isaac Butterfield. I seem to, I seem to see Jimmy, Jim, Jimothy Carr. He's alright. He's alright. Uh, making it easier to evade attacks. The Empress Robe, 222. That's less defense. You can't equip the Empress's Robe. Less defense, more magical might, less magical mending only by one point. Provides protection from elemental attacks. I get the feeling I was meant to come here a lot earlier. <laughs> like the boss is obviously gonna do dark, dark attacks and evil, evil and good are not elements, as I understand it. Light and dark are not they're not like fire and ice. We've done a full lap now. That's the Champ Sauvage. Why is that Jean? Is that a dragon or is it a whale? Let me Google if there is even one German comedian you deem funny. Let me Google if the one alleged German comedian I know is is actually true. <laughs> okay, Cetacea, don't don't do anything I wouldn't do. You've got the wheel. <laughs> Web browser. Yeah, he's German. That's what it says. Official website of Henning Vane, German comedian ambassador to the UK. That guy. Do you know of him? I, I realize I may have I may have closed the screen before you saw it. 
And also, I'm sorry if there's a massive lag on my, my stream. My, um... My RTT, man. My KBPS is, like, whack. I don't know where I am. It's, it's gone dark. Please. Is that Sniffleheim? I don't think I did Sniffleheim. Never seen its face and it's one to remember. Hey, now that's mean. A Henning Vane's a funny man. In my opinion. Is this the place where we just were, in fact? Is that is, is that why I have no memory of it? It didn't take long enough to cement it in my brain. Oh, my back. My back and my legs. But you like Jimmy Carr, right? Jimmy Carr and Henning Vane do, uh, he's, he's often on 8 out of 10 cats, Jimmy Carr's hosts that show, so maybe you'd enjoy it. Maybe you'd be like, ah, oh, this is funny. I don't know. It's really weird, right? Because a lot of the times I just assume everyone has access to the same kind of media that I do. But actually, thinking back to it, when I lived in Japan, I couldn't even access the iPlayer, so not without a VPN. I guess you could use a VPN. He's often there. Isn't he like the host? Yeah, Jimmy Carr's the host. Henning Vane is is on it like more often than than some people. Where is this? Laguna di Gondolia way station. Did I do this one already? I feel like I did. I feel like I'm just wasting time now. Yeah, I did this one. Really never saw him there. He's on, um, is it Would I Lie to You? You consume a lot of Brit British TV shows, actually. It's funny, because I consume no German TV shows. I want, I want you to crunch those numbers, Devro. I want you to, to think about the implications. Not by, not by choice. Yeah, he's just not on TV. Like, I'd have to illegally pirate some, what is that? some German televisual stream. What is that? That looks like a... Could be because you don't speak German. Yeah. I don't speak any German. Correct. Oh, no, I remember what that is. It's the, uh... It's the, it's the necropolis, isn't it? A bunch of dead people. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, so... Right. You like Taskmaster, but don't tell anyone. Everybody likes Taskmaster. Can't escape it. It's a funny show. Feel like we've done that one. Feel like we've done that one. Hotto, South Step, yeah? There's nothing else around Hotto. And they do say it Hotto, not Hotto. It's weird. Northern Stepway Station, yeah. It's hard. But you know you say that, but like I, oh shit! It's a it's a ruin of that that civilization's buildings. Look, where is he? Where there he is? It's one of them, but crashed, and he's directly ob above it. I see now. I understand. What was I going to say? 
I may not w watch any uh, German TV, but I've watched my fair share of Swedish TV. Swedish police dramas, Swedish detective thrillers. So good. Success! It is forged. New sword of light. Go to Floating Castle. Mordegon waits there. The final battle. It is time. All life prays for you. All Adrea wishes you success. Now go. Finish him! Apparently this is going to be the last episode. I joke. We're obviously going to get leveled by the boss. <sighs> oh shit! Those guys look like a freezer would punch their face. What? Freezer. Oh, free freezer, freezer, free. I thought you were talking about Swedish people for a second there. Jesus. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> Yeah, those, those, those Swedes, man. Whew. They get into big scraps of white goods. No, yes, the guy with the weird shaped, the 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 kid boo looking ass, mofo. Maybe that too. I don't know. I don't know, but I no comment about the Swedish inclination to fight white goods. Um, but yes, Freezer, the the small dude with the purple head. Is he a dude? Use the sword of light to destroy the barrier. Get wrecked, Mordigan. Get, get, turn into pasta. Get spaghettified. Get rigatonied. Put that down this instant. It's always a fun time when the hero's using the wrong weapon. You have a fun story about Sweden, apparently, actually. Actually, apparently. You can tell your funny story about Sweden. If you want to. Or elsewise, keep it to yourself for a later date. The barrier surrounding the fortress of fear melts away. So this is it. Hmm. It's time to go and get our revenge. Holy shit, Serena. I feel like she should be like cocking an assault rifle. Just like a little M16, just like, shh, trying to get our revenge. Okay, Wilma. Who that? <laughs> the biggest question is, y'all got any mini medals out here in the void? <laughs> domain at last we must be on our guard so your ex-girlfriend was a big fan of sweden you always make jokes that it looks like the arctic full of snow permanent winter at some point she was like all right we travel there and you will see so you pick the end of march and you arrive to your surprise 30 centimeters first <laughs> no. i mean Sweden's quite a long country. I think it depends where you go as well. But yeah, it's, it's not renowned as being a, a warm place, is it? It's uh, Fish Boy the Unfinished. <laughs> you eluded my blade. Of course. I would expect no less from the vanquishers of my... Snow is there the whole week? No one can change your mind now. <laughs> Look at his small pee-pee. He's... 
obviously been out in the snow already. No wonder he's the bad guy. <laughs> Dear Indignus, we from the Twitch support team are writing this to notify a, a brief suspension of your account for bre breaching the uh, TOS on streamer clothing guidelines. Lumine. You have done well to make it this far. He just sends his reply back. Full caps. Cleavage is unrestricted. <laughs> Deletes his account. But this is where your story ends. <laughs> you shall not meet my master. You shall die like dogs at his The only door. thing he's gatekeeping is his virginity. I mean... When you're posing like that, with that kind of equipment, with those kind of clothes, in this kind of area or town. Let's go. Uh, you again. Who again? Eric isn't here. Eric's waiting on the on the ship. Are his skills named after the sound he makes? Yes. It's fine. I'm on fire. <laughs> he fell over. Oh. The chick is a vampire. Yes, she she is now. Yes, she is a vampire now. I can't only use multi heal, but nice. She's single. She is single. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask you to do some healing. So much power. Press the wrong button. How can someone be an immortal being in single? It's like you can't take your time, isn't it? Like, you can't take it. Is it so we can, I don't know. I just, you know. She only just became a vampire. She's like 19, 20. Now we can use the sexy beam. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Where's my counterattack? Oh, where's my Where's my counterattack? The perfect age for becoming a vampire is 25. I, I think vampires being a uh, magical being don't have a perfect age to become. You can just, like, whenever. Like, once you become a vampire, can't you just shapeshift to look 25 anyway? Like, isn't that the whole... That, isn't that the whole shtick? Isn't that a good thing? Isn't that what everyone wants to be a vampire for? Here you are. Someone parried it. I heard the ting. Go on, we'll go for a Hawkeye claw instead. Worth. Blow away. Time to end this boss! 
No, all my buffs. had full HP that round. Pump uh, pump iron. Pump iron. Pump. Pump 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 pump. Pump 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 pump. Squat up to be it. So, Devro, I actually um uh, put the iron somewhere. I don't know where it is. So in instead of iron, I will be pumping Mostly plastic. I guess there's some iron in this. I think the base is cast iron. I will be lifting my chair. Because it's heavy as fuck. I'll do 10 squats with it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh god, 7, 8, I hit the mic. Nine. Ten. Oh. Why do they make chairs so heavy? They don't have to be heavy. They just have to be strong. You can use lightweight materials that aren't bulky, like carbon fiber. You got auto mod. Held a message for reason bullying. Dev, I don't want to see you bullying Lumi ever again. <laughs> Add permitted term her dumbbell. Twitch mod, Twitch auto mod. Do you not do you not know what a fucking dumbbell is? Is it because of dumbbell? Yeah, it thought you thought you were calling Lumia a, a dumbbell. Which I guess calling anyone and anything other than what they are is an insult. Quote unquote. But you didn't and it, you don't, and Twitch just doesn't understand the concept of a lexicon. Doesn't know what a dumbbell is. Twitch auto mod's a dumbbell. There you go. That's correct derogatory usage of the term dumbbell. Doesn't make any sense. Also, dumbbells are quite useful objects, so... Is it really that much of an insult to call someone a dumbbell? I guess they're simple, but they're effective. Continue your adventure. Fortress of Fear. Like, I don't think we have no chance of winning. And we just got unlucky. And it one-shotted the main character instantly. Your frame 
shall wait. Let's go. It's showtime. Interesting. You again. That's what we wanted. Thank you, game. <laughs> Keep fighting. Oh, Thank you. Omega Pog. The Wob. Be right back. Okay. It's on yellow HP, that's good. I feel the need for speed. Crushing it, Serena. Oh yeah. Thousand damage. Nine oh three. That's close enough. Here you are. Uh oh. Okay. This 
Uh, multi heal. Thanks. I like how he does that right as it's all about to bear off anyway. Jesus Christ. Protagonist has perished. It's all over. <sighs> I mean, okay, if you say so. We actually get back into Alley at all. That would be a no. I have never seen this weapon in the entire game before. Bastard sword. Apparently it's better than Eric's current equipment, which is depressing.
What about the battleground? That's the, uh, we can find Metal King slimes here, can't we? And now that we have all the slime fighting gear, we can fight slime. Twenty coins per skill point. I thought it was gonna be twenty coins, just flat fee, but no. I mean, of course. Uh-oh. It may have just been that my controller has died.
You're back. Welcome back. Okay, controller refuses to do input. Um, so I'm playing with the mouse and keyboard now. Oh no. This is this is fine. There's one. I'm on fire. There's two. There it is, baby!
Oof. Did I do all right? Never again. I don't know why I'm so so tired. I woke up and I I just I came straight here. It's just a Sunday thing. Maybe it's just a Sunday thing. Ah. That's some janky. That's the kind of thing that I have in my games. While key pressed, rotate five degrees. <laughs> Delay. While key pressed, rotate five degrees. You can see the IK on his feet just going absolutely mental. Anyway, uh, I wanted the menu open. <gasps> Why were they coming at me, man? Fabulous! Yeah! Well, that was easy. The mouse-based camera control feels weird. I don't know if it's just more sensitive than the, the, the controller. That's one of the reasons I thought this game was made maybe in Unreal Engine. Kind of feels like it was. It's the kind of problem you have when you bind uh, the mouse control and the controller control to the same binding. So you can obviously have them, for ease of access, bound to the same thing. But it's actually a lot more productive to uh, to have separate bindings and just have a universal function call for that bind for that for the input. So then you can insert a you can insert a scalar uh, thing. In fact, can I? I I can't I can't open the menu while I'm doing this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, is it misc and then? System settings and then camera controls. Yeah. So we have uh, camera speed is outdoors and indoors. I don't know what that means, but you have outdoors and indoors uh, camera speed. But it's be a lot nicer user experience to have camera speed, mouse, camera speed controller. Because this, I'm moving. I'm moving the mouse maybe an inch. And y'all know that's a full rotation of the player. I used to be a wrist player CS, but uh, that was when I didn't know how to play CS. Now I know that actually wrist players suck at aiming. Uh, and you actually need like a really low sensitivity to get that de deep control. Low sensitivity and a huge mouse mat. I've got half a huge mouse mat. Like it's wide, but it's not very tall. I mean, the mouse mat itself is tall, but most of it's obscured. There's a synthesizer on it, and there's, there's a cup right there. You can't see that, and that's off screen. I don't even have my camera on. I don't know why I'm talking. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, 
I just see the Digimon is a Bandai product, so... What's the chances, okay, hear me out, what's the chances of a Gundam crossover? Gundam X Digimon Revolution Capsule Gacha game for the PC Coming 2024 Ah. Uh... Did I save the game? I don't feel like I saved the game, I'm gonna save the game real quick again Just to be sure Paying attention this time I definitely saved the game, I don't need to save it again. I... I was just thinking maybe we could play a different game for a while. Maybe just like a stream only thing. Slim, very slim. What do you mean slim? Very... What do you mean there's no chance of getting a Gundam Digimon crossover platform video game? Where you, where you build your own Gundam and fight against the Digidestined in 70 foot tall mech. I want it, and therefore I will make it. Right now. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I don't know. I just like... I'm at a point where I thought I was making good progress and now I've been slapped back down to earth by a boss. I kind of I kind of don't want to grind. And I don't know why, but I feel really sleepy. Sleepy and screamy. That was a yawn, by the way. <laughs> I don't know where the sound came from. <laughs> but I think I think I might switch game. Um, and I might I might not record the switched game. I don't know what I'm gonna play. It'd be a mystery to you and to me. Would you, a uh, friend who just joined the stream, would you be down for watching a different video game instead of Dragon Quest? Because I am. I've done my I've done my three hours. <laughs> it was fun to a point, but the hard mode questing it just it really does it really does add to the grind, and I don't think it's the kind of difficulty I like. Halo Infinite, Halo Infinite was very much the difficulty I liked. I think I lost access to Halo Infinite. To be fair, I think that's gone. Are we on March twenty? March, yeah, I think it's. I think it went much, much seventeenth. Uh, that was when my sub was up. Now I'm gonna do that. So let me just say again, a huge thank you to Zach President for your resubscription. Ten months, absolutely insane. I'll probably see you Tuesday. I probably will. Anyway. Seg, seg over. Oh yeah, and thanks everyone for, for chilling out in the stream. But seg over. <laughs>